It's not very nice of me to be drinking whenever I start this video. But I'm here, finally. Y'all, it takes quite a bit of effort for me to get on here. Should have seen me scrambling, trying to plug in my stinking phone, find a place to jack it up to where you guys can see something. And then I have a whiteboard because I was being so creative with everything. And then it looks like that bird poop on it. And apparently it's from the sticker from Hobby Lobby smudging off the black ink all over the place. And so you guys will have to look at bird poop while I do this. <laughs> it's not bird poop though, don't worry. <laughs> Hi, Megan. Okay, y'all. I have been... I've been on to something. So, you might want to tag your teams. You might want to tag your peoples. Just tag everybody because I don't know how to get much more clear than this. I talk to a lot of you guys all the time. I'm ADDing all over the place. I just want that out of my way. I'm so sorry. Hi, Nikki. Okay, <clears throat> let me focus on you guys for just a second instead of every all my clutter crap that I have everywhere. Thanks. I just got done examining our pavers that we're gonna use on our pool. And my camera is too far away. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna drop it. And it's like 40 something degrees outside. It's freezing. And it's 60 something in my house right now. Okay guys, here we go. I hope you guys are excited and ready for all this info. I'm gonna quit scrambling here and get straight to the point here. Okay. In our businesses, there's times whenever we want to be consistent, and I am so extremely excited. Oh, before I get started, do you guys see my new ring? Because I know somebody will comment on it. You guys like that? I finally got a new wedding ring. It was on sale for 30 bucks at the Tulsa State Fair, and it's the only one that Josh will let me have right now because I won't lose it. So, $30, $30 make you holla, new wedding ring. <laughs> Every time someone sees me, they're like, oh my gosh. But really, no, it was originally $60 and I got it on sale for $30. <clears throat> it looks awesome in videos. It's like people think that I haven't lost something that valuable. Anyway, okay, I digress. All right, we all want to be consistent in our business, like super consistent, right? We all want to make this happen. And the secret is, is being consistent. Well, I'm going to be dead honest with you guys. It's not being consistent like yeah it's being consistent but um, it's not like just being consistent we all have different speed limits that we have in our business and we put limits on ourselves and we like to set the cruise control at that limit however if you guys are wanting to make bigger paychecks than what you got this whole year or on the 15th or last week if you guys want to make a bigger paycheck, it's not going to happen by you just showing up being consistent. Every single time that I have chose to really bust butt in my business, I had a family meeting about it. And the reason why I have family meetings about it is because it is that serious when I go all in. When I am trying to really rank advance my team, when I'm trying to earn trips, when I am trying to really raise the bar on what a, what a big paycheck really is, because you guys, I'm still blown away at the types of incomes that people can make in this business whenever we are still hearing so many people struggling out in the world today. It is very humbling. So I want to tell you guys right now, it's not just going to be consistency. It is going to be you sitting down and knowing what it's going to take out of you physically, emotionally, um, lack of sleep, lack of spending time with your family, lack of free evenings watching TV, lack of sleep. I'll say that again. Like literally, you're tired will feel tired. Like that's a new phrase I created because I didn't have another word for it because I was too tired. Like working really, 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 really hard, okay? And here's the deal, is you don't have to go 100%. You can, because 100% is everything, right? That means you, you are literally like, there's no possible physical way you could have added in another moment of your day towards your goals, okay? That's 100%. But if you go as hard as you allow yourself to go, which is sitting down and making a decision of what you want more, your comfort level, or a bigger paycheck. Your comfort level or your friends and your family and the people that you are responsible for bringing into this business for them to have a better paycheck. 
you're gonna have to sacrifice one of those, which is either comfort level or bigger paychecks. So pick one that you want and sit down with your family. I want you to get a planner out, go to Walgreens if you have to, it doesn't have to be a nice one. Go to Walgreens and book your calendar with as many events as physically possible with just whoever you can. And if you don't have events to schedule with your team, you had better start writing out a massive contact list. Don't tell me that you've gone through every single one of your contact lists. If your mailman is not using your product, you have not gone through your contact list. And I know some of you guys do have your mailman, but I'm telling you, you guys, you're gonna have to go 100% all in and it's gonna hurt. You're gonna be tired. You're gonna, you're not gonna know what to do with yourself, but I'm gonna tell you guys how you do this business. And it's just one simple system. If you wanna work hard or if you just wanna be consistent and have a consistent paycheck, this is the same system. The only difference between those people who are really trying to rank advance and grow their paychecks are the ones who do it more and less time being comfortable, which is in like, I, like watching TV, um, you know, doing the things that don't require Monate. It doesn't help Monate. It doesn't help your business. So, okay. Thank you, Sue. Thanks for the feedback. It was kicking me in the butt too, today too. And this has been on my mind for a while because everything that I'm sharing with you guys is something that I've recently experienced, okay? So in order to do a hard push, you're gonna have to be extremely intentional. You are gonna have to book your calendar. And I'm talking like every single minute of your day that you have barely breathing, any minute of the day, you're gonna have to sink and book something that is income producing. If you guys need a list of income producing activities, it is in your um, Market Partner Academy, and I can't even remember what video it is. It's number four. If you guys need a refresher on that, go to that. If you guys wanna know how I became so successful, it's because I dug into a lot of books, and I'm gonna share with you the other stuff that I did right here that made me go from you know like $40,000 a month to a, a month to 10 times greater that, okay? It's possible. So what I did was I Filled my calendar with income producing activities as often as possible. No BS, no excuses. I prospected every single person because I was not committed to the outcome. I was committed to the odds. I was committed to the fact that if I recruit 10 people or if I talk to 10 people, one of those will take off. That means I sign up 10 people, one of them might take off, you guys. Did you hear me? If you guys are saying, my team doesn't do anything, my team's not motivated, my team's not working it, stop it, stop it. Go get a new team. That's what this business is. These guys are volunteer armies. You're not sitting over there hounding them, making them check in. If they don't want a bigger paycheck, then they don't want it. If you want a bigger paycheck, you go find someone else who does want it right now. There's gonna be a time in everyone's life when they can't do this business during the periods of their sign up. Yes, they will be signed up in the business and not be willing to do the simple system that I'm gonna share with you guys. They're not willing to do these things to be successful. And if you guys are leaders, you're wasting your time trying to badger them over and over. All you can do is provide a way, tell them I tried this, you try it too, lead by example, share with them the simple trainings, and then go out and do the do. And you guys will have some serious success. Thanks, sister. <laughs> but you guys will see some serious success in this system that I'm about to tell you guys what it is right here. I wrote it down, I had to do a circle, so I'm gonna use my whiteboard. This is your system. If you guys wanna be successful, or if you guys wanna be consistent, you still have to do the same thing in order to receive a paycheck. If you're not doing some of these, it's not gonna work. So your system, along with my bird poop on here, is prospecting. Don't judge me if I spell anything wrong. Okay, remember, I'm a, I'm a middle school dropout here. Okay, system, one thing that you need is prospecting. Another thing that you have to have is personal development, okay? These are all leaded to the system, you guys. Rhythm of events. This is extremely important. If, there, if you guys are calling me telling me that your paychecks are not growing and your numbers aren't growing, I'm gonna say, well, where, where's the events been? Like, how, how are the events? I feel like I'm yelling at you guys. But where's the events? How, how many has been happening? Calculate it. That's measurable. 
If you guys are having events, it's measurable, okay? Onboarding. Oh, wait, hold on. I need to write this down here so it makes a circle. Onboarding. That's another super important aspect, you guys. You have to be onboarding your new market partners. If you're not onboarding your new market partners by sharing them within the Smart Start Workbook and the important value of it, now I'm not saying like you've got to be badgering these people to do their homework, but listen, hey Gina, go through the Smart Start Workbook with them and explain each page. And I'm going to tell this to you guys again. Explain each, each page. I don't care if you have 100,000 followers on Instagram and you're signing up market partners. I don't care if you have 200 friends on Instagram. I don't care. It, your level of influence when it comes to signing up market partners and onboarding them and being duplicatable has nothing to do with your social media and how awesome you are at signing up market partners. Whether you suck or whether you're incredible. I hate the word suck. I say I suck all the time. So let me, um, whether you are not having as much success, there you go. It, whatever the factor is, if you guys don't onboard the same exact way that you're supposed to, your duplication will stop right there. You could be a managing market mentor and, or, you know, an m and and have managing market mentor numbers, but still not have duplication because you didn't onboard your people because you were, all you had to, let's say for example, if I were to go out there and make a post on social media and somebody just boom, 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 I get six market partners and 10 VIP customers out of it. Is that duplicatable? No. Zero. Absolutely not. The reason why you guys got to go through the Smart Start Workbook is because it's going to exactly, word for word, train you on how to reach out to a new mark or a new prospect. So whenever you guys are using these tools, it's duplicatable. I don't care how well you are at signing someone up that you just met at the drive through Star at Starbucks or wherever you're going, your team has to know that they can do this too. So in order for you guys to really share the experience is to go through experiences, talk to new people, ex share, monate with them in every single form or fashion, be creative with how you meet people, but not creative with how you duplicate them into our onboarding system. So make sure that you guys are onboarding every single person the same exact way. And if you guys are like, what is onboarding? Like, I don't feel like we have onboarding anymore. Yes, we have onboarding still. And it is in the Market Partner Academy. It's the first lesson. It is so simple. And it's also in the Smart Start Workbook. You guys have got to start going through the Smart Start Workbook personally every single month because this over and over stuff really, really does make you millions of dollars. Okay, training and gratitude. This is... Gratitude, gratitude, that's a D, not a T. Gratitude, boom, 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 boom. You guys wanna see what I'm drawing? Hang on, just give me a second. I'm a really good artist. <laughs> okay, here it is. And it's all backwards, but you guys get the picture, right? I want you guys to visualize this because this is what happened for me. Here, look at it again. Look, just look at it. Just look at it, seriously. You guys, this is what happened for me whenever I went to Seattle and we had Leadership Summit. They put a picture of that on the, on the thing and something clicked for me. And I was like, that's what I do? That's, that's, that's what I do. Okay, so this is what I do and it will bring success. They were giving me an answer. You guys listen, a confused mind says no every single time. And if you are overcomplicating your business, then it's, everyone's gonna slow down. Nobody's going to do anything. They're going to just stop. A confused mind says no. So whenever you are prospecting people, do it in a very good ma manner and onboard them right away as soon as they get in. Your rhythm of events are so important, you guys. I know I would not have the market partners today that are leaders today if I wouldn't have brought them to events. Hands down, I mean, everyone who can agree with me, just you know, you know what I'm talking about. These events bring in a culture and a feeling of belonging. And I'm telling you guys this system because whenever you get confused in your business, this is all you need. This is it. 
this right here. And this is all you need to be training on. This right here. Help people how to prospect. Personal development, always, constantly. Hi, Trista. What does that say? I can't read back. <laughs> Rhythm of events. Rhythm of events. Super Saturdays in your area every single quarter. Every three months, you better be having a Super Saturday in your area. You do not have to be a high rank to do this. Get something going in your area. It is vitally important for you guys to get together. Onboarding, make sure everyone's being onboarded the same exact way. You might have your own special way, but is it duplicating and is it growing? The, I'm living testimony to this stuff, you guys. I am living testimony that this stuff works if you use the system. Training, providing resources for your new market partners, as in helping them out with your own experiences or helping them doing their first launch event. If you can't physically get to them, you better be doing a live event on Facebook with them to support them. You are there for them, so help them out. And you guys, if you have a leader that dropped the ball, do not blame them for your lack of efforts, okay? Just get out there and try to do it, and you will learn so quickly that you guys will be already way ahead of the game. Trust me, I've seen this happen over and over again. Gratitude, you guys have always gotta be giving back and having gratitude. And in the middle of gratitude, you guys are gonna be networking like crazy with people because you are, you're just putting it into the, you're putting it out into the universe that you want goodness and these good people will come to you, trust me. So this is it. If you guys really want this business to work, you have to work it. You have to put in consistent hours, but you have to be willing to push really, really hard. I mean, it's whatever you want out of this business. And if there is times when your team is not willing to be coachable in this manner, then you're gonna have to go work with another team. Um, Bottom line, that's it. So you guys get out there and, and work your business and be responsible for your own business. Hey, Naomi. So um, anyway, just remember, yeah, growing. Growing is very uncomfortable. Thank you, Melinda. It's totally true. Um, you know, growing is like, has anyone ever worked out? It hurts really, really bad, but it is so worth it for the results you get. And I know if you guys can attest, especially all my directors, if I were to have a little huddle with all my directors right now and and say, hey, do you remember what it was like whenever we were really growing our business? Like how exhausting it was and how tiring it was and how hard we worked and how much sweeter the success was because of how hard we worked. They all have personal testimonies of this. And if you guys haven't experienced that, just get ready because if you do this, it will work for you. It may not work in the first 30 days and it probably won't work in the first 60 days. 30 days, I want you guys to record what happens if you guys start implementing this. If you guys start having multiple events a week. If you have free time at night, do an event. You should be booking these things intentionally because no one else is gonna book them for you. If you want this done, you have to do it. And if you guys are leaving one thing out, one thing out, this is a common thing, rhythm of events. You guys are like reading all this backwards. You can't even see it. But if you guys are leaving out the rhythm of events, then you will not grow your business. It is a comp it's it's across the board all over the place. You if you guys are not having events, then you're not growing. And having events puts pressure on you to prospect people. Just saying. So anyway, you guys tell yourselves and you know, sit down and write out your goals and your why's and what you want. And if you just you want just bring in one person. If just you bring in one person, you don't have to bring in 100. You just need to bring in one and you need to duplicate Duplicate this to your team. It pays off to have duplication. Your business will run while you are not constantly having to blow up tires, I'm telling you. So you guys can do this. Oh, hey, Cassidy. Yep, see, the people who have events in the books are the ones who are gonna have their business growing. Guarantee it every single time. And you guys, Facebook events, any type of event, you just have to put it into your calendar. Don't let this business slip away. Don't let every single day slip away from you. Every single night before you put your head down on that pillow, you need to be asking yourself, what did I do today that was progressing me towards my goals? What, was, what did I physically do today that is going to get me the things that I'm dreaming for? because it's not gonna happen with you just daydreaming about it. You actually have to log in the hours. I talk a lot about dreaming big and thinking big, but you know what comes next is the action steps. So right now is the action steps that you guys need to be doing and you need to ask yourself, am I willing to push really, really hard right now? 
or am I just going to be consistent? Consistent in whatever manner you're already doing, whether that's recruiting zero people or whether that's recruiting three people, whatever you are consistent in, you're gonna have consistent results. So if you're consistently pushing hard, your paycheck will also be pushing hard for you. So, and your guys' teams will be encouraged whenever they see you working hard, whenever they physically see you actually out there doing the do and sharing tips of experiences that you have had, that's when your team gets motivated because there's, they want that same thing too. They just want to know that they're not going to get trampled to death by maybe a hater or maybe the odds of network marketing and how people can maybe look down upon it. They just want to know they're not alone in this. So whenever you start sharing with other people that you are out there fighting the good fight, trying to share this amazing opportunity that has changed so many people's lives, giving them the opportunity to take the time off and maybe just be consistent and slow in their periods. It's okay. We can take time off in this business, but we have to know the repercussions of when we do. We know our paychecks will drop and we know we will probably lose momentum. So if that's you, right now is the day that you guys need to get out your planners and lose an hour of sleep. One hour of sleep is not going to fix something that you sitting down putting things in your planner could fix. Trust me, your planner is so important. Be intentional in your business. Schedule your events. Make sure you are doing everything prospecting, personal development, rhythm of events, onboarding, training, gratitude, constantly be prospecting. And listen, whatever got you guys to where you are right now in your in your ranks, where whatever rank you're at right now, the people you have on your team currently today is not the people who are going to get you where you want to be. So don't blame your team for their lack of efforts. Don't blame your team for, or an upline, don't blame anybody in your business. You have to personally take responsibility because this is you. You are the leader and you are going to be leading people that are not in the company right now. They are still out and about there looking for an influencer that's going to motivate them to get more in their life. And you're going to be that person, but it's not going to be hanging out with your upline all day. It's going to be you going out and hanging out with new people. So take an evaluation. Who do you hang out with all week long? If there's no one else but market partners, you're gonna have trouble recruiting and prospecting. But if it's everyone and no market partners, you're gonna to have to plug yourself in and go to an event that week. There's gotta be a healthy balance of where you put your time and where you put your mind and your energy because that stuff's gonna rub off on you. You're the average of the five people you hang around, but you got to make sure that you are networking with new people who are not already in your business. So make sure that you guys get out there and do the do. One thing a day, just do one thing a day. Bring in one new person before the end of the month. Start small. It takes not 60, but 90 days, at least, at least 90 days to see budges in your business. Just Eric Worre talks about it. It's not just me. I mean, I literally took it out of his book. <laughs> it takes like 90 days. So if you guys have been pushing for 60 days and maybe you're entering or maybe, okay, let's say you guys have been pushing for, <laughs> Janice, me too. I was pumped up this morning. I don't know why. But whenever you guys look at your business, like um, if you've pushed hard for maybe the last 30 days and maybe you're getting into that 60 day zone, this is where people start dropping off of their, con of their plan of action and their hard push. And then that's whenever the results maybe started trickling in, but a lot of people will give up. So if you guys are just passing up your 60 day, um, that 90 day sweet mark is actually how I measure my own business. I don't measure my business from October to November. I measure my business from quarter to quarter every 90 days because I allow myself to evaluate how hard I want to push that 90 days or um, if something else is a higher priority like um, whatever is on my dream board or maybe health or whatever, you guys will experience this in some form or fashion with someone close to you or yourself all the time. So I'm sharing you guys my experiences. We get to pull away sometimes, but, but it takes about 90 days of consistent, crazy, hard pushing before you guys will see results. So if it's, if you haven't started pushing hard, start now. But if you have like a little bit ago, a month or two, and you guys might start seeing the repercussions here pretty quick. But just remember, evaluate from quarter to quarter. January, February, March. And right now, and we are in like, what? October, November, December? So this is the first month of a quarter. So there you go. Log it. <laughs> I don't have anything else. Okay, I better get off of here because Josh is trying to get me to go out there and help measure papers for the poll. So listen, you guys. Hey, Crystal. Oh my gosh, you in the UK are freaking killing it, girl. Um, anyway. I hope this helps you guys. This visual like 
change the world for me and I hope that it will change the world for you. Write it out for yourself. And then what you can do is you can make another branch off. Like, okay, here's personal development. What can I do for personal development? Branch it off. This is called mind mapping, by the way, if you guys don't know. Mind mapping is way better than taking notes. Um, TED Talk it. Google or YouTube the TED Talk on mind mapping. And then you can take gratitude and boom, do little things. Okay, I could do this and this and this and this for gratitude. Events, rhythm of events. Super Saturday better be in there. Your own events better be in there. Coffee dates better be in there. It better, there's ideas that you can just, um, to okay, I'll snap a picture. I will. And then onboarding, you guys, um, you know, with onboarding, you could branch off of onboarding and go into um, re-onboarding an old market partner or maybe onboarding someone who's struggling with their reach outs. Because that if, if it's if people are struggling with how to reach out to people, that's actually a part of the onboarding system. So if you guys think that I'm, I might be leaving something out of the system, but this is the system that made me a $5 million earner. So <laughs> this is what I want you guys to have because I want $5 million earners on my team. I'm not sitting here like yapping away for no reason. Like I am here so you guys can see that it can happen for you. Like that is why I still do what I do. I freaking love it. I love my business. I love helping people get unstuck. And if you guys are stuck, nobody's gonna get you out but you. So don't blame anybody else but yourself and your own calendar because, um, okay, can I share one example? And I hope to God Sarah Reed doesn't mind this. Sarah Reed, are you on here? Okay, Sarah, you, your video is what really pumped me up this morning. I was watching your team page video yesterday. And she talked about how there was a long period of time in her business where she didn't listen to anything, what anybody had to say. Um, you know, she wasn't doing personal development, no coaching, no, um, and I wasn't a very good coach either, but she said that any ideas that I had, she just threw them out the window because she had her own idea of how this worked. Well, you guys check this out. That's her lesson that she learned in this. Do you want to hear my lesson, what I learned on that part? Um, Sarah Reed was, okay, Sarah, forgive me, but like, you weren't doing the things that like the system taught. So like whenever she was doing it this way, I was living in Oklahoma and I was like, I got to restart my business. My GV is tanking. I'm at 900 in GV and I am like literally halfway through the month and I'm an SCD. I'm going to get paid as an MMP. And so what I did as my lesson, because, um, like I didn't know what to do with Sarah. I did not know what to do. So I started recruiting more because my GV counted on it. Sarah wasn't in my GV. So I forcefully literally like had to recruit. It was do or die. Hey Sam, <laughs> she, you are so, you look so incredible after having your baby golly. Like I need pictures of you every morning for motivation. But um, so what I did instead was that I recruited new people and the people who ran with it, I ran with them. And one of those people happens to be, you know, Kendall Weldon and Samantha Kelly, Greta Murray, um, you know, like a whole, a whole slew of incredible leaders. And on top of that, Naomi was busting ranks, Naomi Olsen. Um, Kyla was, fr f I think she was going for SED at the time. Um, there was a lot of other things and you know, I didn't know what to do. So if someone is at a standstill in their business and they're not willing to do something like this, you know, and Sarah will tell you all day long, be willing to do this and be willing to be coachable and duplicatable because um, Sarah called me up one day and she's like, what are you doing in your business? It's making it blow up and I'm stuck here. And I was like, okay, I will tell you everything. And I told her, I said like, and this can go under a whole prospecting training tab, you guys prospecting. Like I was like, go live every single chance and get yourselves out there, get yourself out there, go live, make cold market, warm market. And you know, do this, do that. I was just throwing all these ideas, but I also like, we, we had the system and it was working and guess what? Sarah Reed busted all the way up to like SED in like eight months or something like that. And she ended up becoming a number, oh, number something, like number five income earner. And she's in the six figure a month range. I mean, y'all like I, I, I learned so many lessons in that. And Sarah learned so many lessons from that. And the one I would just want to share with you guys is that if your team is not doing the duplicatable thing right now, don't steer yourself off course as a leader. You make sure that people are actually prospecting because if someone comes up to you and they're like, I really need help. And you say, okay, well, let me see your contact list. Let me see the people that you're meeting. 
And here's where some people might stop. If they don't have a contact list, someone might just be like, well, I can't help you then. Yeah, I can't help you, but let's dig further. I'm gonna help you prospect. I'm gonna help you actually make a contact list. So here we go. I'm gonna show you how to do it on social media. I'm gonna show you how to do it face to face. That's what a leader does, is whenever someone gets stuck, they figure out what is the actual underlying issue and we go through and we work down to the core of why their business is not growing. And if that's you guys, you know, like needing help with maybe training your team or maybe being discouraged because they're not as motivated as you are right now, I will tell you guys right now, my best advice is run with the runners, walk with the walkers, and don't sit with the sitters, and make sure that you guys are being duplicatable. On my end and on Sarah's defense, I was a terrible leader, and I was actually like, we'll do whatever you want, this is great. Like, I did not have a system, we didn't do anything right. So Sarah and I had a storm of a business together. My gosh, that girl and I could like literally write books on lessons, just on our little experiences. So um, anyway, you guys will learn this too. Just just do this, put your head down, go to work, and I promise it's, this is gonna pay off for you as long as you do the work. Do the work. So sit down and decide today like how hard do you wanna push for the next 90 days and I'm gonna respect your wishes no matter what they are. Trust me, trust me. If you even wanna sit on the bench and take some time off and be with your family, I'll respect that. However, I'm out here running and so that's where my time goes is I'm here to run with these runners. I'm here to make million dollar earners, but I'm also here to help satisfy those and just sink and pay for groceries, just pay for diaper money, whatever it is. Because if you can do that with this system, you can also be a six figure earner because that's what I wanted. I just wanted to make a thousand dollars and then now here I am. So when they say that like you just start one foot in front of the other, like I'm telling you, you guys, this is all the same stuff. It's just over and over and how hard you wanna push by how much time you actually put into it. So, all right, hope I wasn't too harsh on you guys, but this is just my thoughts because I see myself doing this all the time is leaving something out. So anyway, um, go through this and see what you're leaving out and go ahead and tackle it, okay? Eat That Frog is a good book. If you guys are a procrastinator or maybe having a hard time accomplishing tasks, go watch the book on Audible or, or listen to it on Audible or YouTube or whatever, but it's about tackling your hardest things that you, the hardest thing that's on your to-do list that you know is gonna make you money, tackle that first. Do that first because the rest of your day is easy after that and that helps a ton. Put your phone in your office and put an alarm clock beside your bed and don't get to your phone until you can fully focus and quit multitasking. Put your head down, go to work, don't multitask. All right, I'll see you guys later, bye.